Hey guys, this is Cool Toys 10 and today I'm going to be doing a Halo Reach action figure review. Now before I start this review today, I'd just like to say two things. One, and I know I always say, I'm sorry I uh, haven't been adding videos. I'm going to try to. I always say I try and I never do. But hopefully I will be adding one each week. Maybe more. Or maybe less. I don't know. Um, but I apologize for that. Second, if you haven't, if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably noticed already. The camera is not facing me. It's now against uh, a solid background. I thought maybe if it was like that, um, maybe you'd be able to f see the figure better. I mean, I just thought that you probably would be able to see the figure better because it's not against me and like. When it's against me, there's a bunch of background, and now you can just focus on the figure. So, leave a comment on how you want me to keep doing these. But for the time being, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, well, I'm going to be reviewing the figure and meal. So, let's start with the packaging. It's very, it's a very nice packaging. Halo Reach logo up here, different warnings. Halo Reach logo, big logo. Uh, this picture of Emil, I believe, is from the video game. Um, series 1, and then the name of the figure. On the back, it's got all the other figures from the line. Since I know I'm probably not going to pronounce them right, I'll just show you the names in the figure. Unfortunately, the only figures from Noble 6 they released were Emil, George, and Noble Six himself. So that's kind of stinks, but I, n I believe they're going to be releasing more figures uh, next year, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And up here is a very awesome picture of Noble Five. Uh, you know, it's very shadowed. It looks really awesome, so... That's pretty much the packaging. Now for the figure himself. Uh, he's very nice. Uh, a lot of detail, but I'll get to the accessories. He comes with a shotgun with a little peg right here. That's a feature that I'll show you later in this video. But the shotgun's very nice. Um, his knife is painted very well. Looks pretty cool. And last but not least, or not not last, he comes with a frag grenade. So very cool. And he also comes with, I'm not, I believe it's grenades. I'm not quite sure which ones these are. I don't know if they're plasma or whatever they are, but uh, he also comes with that. Now about the feature I was talking about with the shotgun. There's this little peg on it. And it just can go right on the little hole in the back. So that looks really, he looks really awesome. Especially since, unfortunately, the shotgun does not fit well in his hands at all. That's about as much as a pose that you can get with the shotgun in his hands. Anything else, it'll just fall right out. And even the other hand doesn't, uh, nope, no. So that really stinks. So thankfully they gave us this little feature that you can uh, put it on his back. And that does look pretty cool displayed like that. Also, and I don't know who'd want it like this. You know, some people maybe. He also comes with a hole on his thigh. I mean, you can, you can fit the shotgun right there. I don't see the point. I think it looks a lot cooler on uh, his back. But if you if you really wanted to, you can fit that there. Maybe there's going to be uh, pistols in the future released, and they, they might have a peg so you can put them there. But for right now, I don't know why that's there. Also, he his knife, thankfully, they made it so you can put it in. Uh, it, it's okay in that hand, a little wobbly, but uh, in this hand, it's pretty good fit. So, thankfully, they gave us that so we can display however you want. Uh, I like the shotgun on the back since you can't really do too much with it anywhere else. And uh, I usually have him holding the knife sometimes. 
also the grenades they come with a little feature too which uh, I mean they did uh, who made these McFarlane I believe they did amazing like with the uh, features they the grenade also has both grenades there's little pegs on the belt I don't know they're right one's right there and of course the grenades already on the peg so very nice uh sorry i'm looking through the camera and not at the figure uh anyways okay so that's really cool you can put it on the belt so pretty much you can have all the accessories uh with the figure whole uh at the same time so that's really cool now, just the other thing I'm not quite happy. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it would have been cool. The sheath, it doesn't work. It's really sad since they gave you a knife around the same size as the sheath. You know, you're probably thinking, oh, cool, maybe it can go into a shoulder sheath. Nope, they just sculpted that on there for detail, nothing more. <clears throat> so that kind of stinks, but, you know... You could just be displaying him with his knife anyways, especially since the shotgun doesn't fit in the hand very well. So, and he looks alright with the knife and the shotgun on the back. But other than those two things, this figure is awesome. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to do the uh, articulation. He comes, he's got a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, ball-jointed elbows, ball-jointed wrists, ball-jointed waist, uh ball jointed knees and this one's cool ball jointed uh ball jointed ankle and a ball jointed toe part so that that's really cool i mean do you see what i'm saying there's a ball joint in the ankle itself and in the toe so that's really cool um so yeah it's a great figure i mean the detail is amazing that's a very, they did Emil's helmet very well. I mean, that looks exactly like it. And every detail in the armor, everywhere, it's it's amazing. It's a, they did very well. I highly recommend this figure because he is really good. It's definitely a good buy besides those two little things. But they can definitely be overlooked with uh, all the other great uh, D all the other great details and they should definitely not hold you back from buying this figure at retail he's I believe around 10 maybe more maybe less I mean just be prepared with like 15 like 10 to 15 dollars uh, I believe they don't go too high I mean that's around the price range you might find them lower in price you might find them higher in price but 10 11 dollars is uh about what they're usually at around that range so uh anyways great figure a great buy to any halo reach fan or action figure fan so uh thank you for watching as always this is cool toys 10 please feel free to comment and subscribe and uh goodbye